Well, what makes something woke? Yeah, that's this one. Chat, what does make something woke? What do you think? I think it's forcing diversity. Forcing diversity. Being gay. <laughs> Being gay doesn't make something woke. Nothing woke is a bus term? Hmm. When they prioritize message over the product. Definitely. That one. 100%. I agree with this one. So good I job, Jess. The term woke thrown around a lot, and I have to admit, I don't think we've done a good job at explaining what the term means. Does woke simply mean that we believe black people or gay people shouldn't be in games? Of no. course not. Black people and gay people have been in tons of celebrated games the past 20 yeah. years. So what is woke then? Woke is the forced inorganic inclusion of certain token minorities and groups in order to score DEI and ESG points. Okay, so how do they pick which token minorities to include and which groups are the, quote, right ones to include in games? Well, I think they just honestly throw Make in people natural. they're friends with because they obviously hate white people. The reason why woke has become such a dirty word, though, in the gamer world is because too, woke oh directly contrasts historical gamer tropes. Since their creation in the 70s, video games have always been catered towards a male audience. And men yeah. since the dawn of time have been obsessed with what? Naked women, war, <laughs> explosions, guns, and f <laughs> The male mind! <laughs> I love it! <laughs> Naked women, guns, and explosions! <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. That's so good. And personally, I don't see anything wrong with this. Funny jokes. Meanwhile, it is the value of the woke movement that... Fat, white, liberal women hate it when men enjoy things. <laughs> That's true, though. They really do hate that. I hate that it's women true. Women should never be attractive. War is bad. Explosions are bad. Guns are bad. And funny humor is bad. Whoa, being funny is bad. No! So is it any surprise that as soon as a video game gets the woke moniker attached to it, it immediately fails? Woke has become a synonym for, this is going to suck, guys. For spoken. That, that immediately for, fails? Uh, for spoken. Woke has become a synonym. For spoken. I don't know why for spoken was such a bad game. I never played it. From what I heard, it's that the main protagonist is just a fucking bitch. That she literally is a fucking bitch. And she like actively tries to go against the player. Which is just like, huh? What? What? Huh? Huh? <laughs> My character was lame AF. The story was mid. I feel it's so bad because I was looking to Forspoken when it was, um, when it was first shown off. I was looking forward to it. For this is going to suck, guys. But let me back up for a minute. What did woke originally mean? Woke was yeah, like, originally a term used by African Americans to indicate somebody who was, quote, aware of and actively attentive to important societal facts and issues. Well, I need to take that in. I'm stupid. I need to read that again. Woke is a political slang adjective derived from African American vernacular English, originally meaning alertness to racial prejudice. Prejudice? Prejudice. And discrimination. So, like, being aware that someone is, like, being discriminative or, like, ra uh, racist. I see. Beginning in the 2010s, I came to encompass a broader awareness of social inequality such as racial injustice, sexism, and denial of LGBT rights. Ah! I see! I didn't know that! I didn't know it actually had history. Used. But unfortunately, this term does not mean What's this something? anymore in the public discourse. Yeah, that's true. Woke today has come to mean the forced, wooden yeah. inclusion yep, yep, of yep, token yep, yep. minorities in order to virtue signal or gain some kind of shitty moral high ground. What's interesting right now is almost every male-dominated industry seems to be violently rejecting the woke movement right now. And I think it's because they overplayed their hand and they got involved in the hobbies of... Speaking of Disney... <laughs> 
speaking of Disney, did you did you guys hear that Disney was actively telling employees, uh, not employees, employees, like the workers, to uh, make Riley in Inside Out 2 less gay? Did you see that? I... Uh, bruh. <laughs> because... Disney said that the uh, Buzz Lightyear movie failed because it included a gay kiss. And originally they wanted to cut out the gay kiss. Uh, but um, uh, like employees were so upset about that that they uh, had to put it in. Heard it from Asman? Yeah, I think I've watched the Asman clip about that. Like, bro. But my take on that, you can Even if it had a gay kiss in it, right? Who the fuck cares? A gay kiss doesn't change that a mid-movie is going to be a mid-movie. If the movie is bad, a gay kiss scene ain't gonna change anything about that. <laughs> this thing is being so fucking dumb. They're looking at the wrong thing! Did South Park special episodes scare me- scare them off? Wait, which one? <laughs> Every sentence that starts with Disney was or Disney said is guaranteed to be about something <laughs> True! True, true, true! The kiss had zero effect on anything. I haven't seen the Lightyear movie. I've been wanting to watch it, but I heard it's mid. But yeah, a gay kiss scene ain't gonna change fucking anything. Mid movie is going to be a mid movie. Simple as. Nintari just cheered 100 bits. Thank you! It is not about games being woke. It is about the form of it being presented in games today. Gamers want good games, not yes. forced political agendas in a pushy yes. manner. Easy yes. as that. And we don't need to, like, just um, focus on games here. We can say anything, in that matter of fact, like any sort of media. Not only games, books, movies, TV shows, comics, all of that. All of that forced shit is so annoying. I don't mind any gay stuff in the media, but if the scene can be removed from the movie and leave the movie plot unaffected, why is it even there? This! That right there! That right there! That right there! 100%. Men. Let me give you an example of a game that handled the woke thing correctly. Do you think any of us give a single fuck if Life is Strange had gay, trans, bi, or black characters in it? No. Life is Strange has always been gay. Nobody was bothered by this. True. 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 Like in Life is Strange, you can actively choose if you're going, like, if the protagonist is having a gay relationship or not. You choose. Life is Strange don't force it exactly. Life is Strange doesn't force anything because in the end it's the player's choice. The player gets to choose if they have a gay relationship or not. And in that way, it's done so well. True Colors is meh. I enjoy True Colors really much. English. <laughs> I enjoy True Colors. Bro. I didn't even know True Colors was coming out. I found it out on the day it was releasing that True Colors was coming out and I bought it and I played it on stream back then. <laughs> you can choose between a hetero and a homosexual relationship. In brackets, by question mark. Maybe, maybe that means the character's by. maybe not. Uh, I feel like that it's open to interpretation in the sense that it reflects on the uh, player playing the main character and that the uh, main character can identify with the... Um, that the player can identify with the main character in a way that they want to because they can choose whatever the fuck they want to. It's done so beautifully well. Most men love some lesbian action. It's just the way Vogue Agenda presents it that turns us off from their works. That is also true. That is also true. That is true. But again, my sexuality is nearly never represented in media. People struggle writing an asexual character. Yeah, I would guess that people would struggle with that if they're not, like, asexual themselves. And, I, uh, you know, after it, uh, take, uh, it takes one to see one? Well, what's the saying? Takes want to get one i don't know forgot the saying but yeah 
You gotta have some knowledge, uh, some inside knowledge on it. Text one to no one. That's the one. Uh. Excuse me. <laughs> no, because very few guys were playing that game. That game sort of always had the reputation for being gay and woke. So if you're not into that stuff, just stay away from it. And that's fine. And I'm glad that Life is Strange exists for people who are into whatever it's about. But here's what you have to realize about these woke lunatics. It's not enough for them to have their own weird thing for themselves. No, they have to stick their depraved little fingers into On your everything. beloved characters as well. Yeah. They killed Star Wars. They killed Ghostbusters. They killed the DC Universe. They <sighs> killed Saints Row. They killed Gears of War. I don't need gay Star Tense Wars. Row? I don't need gay Gears of War. Yeah, we really don't Do that need shit them. on your own time, but don't put it into Agreed. our beloved franchises. I've heard that the number one way to determine Agreed. if something Agreed. is woke Agreed. or not is to just look at the audience and critic scores of something. If the critic score is like 90 and the audience score is like 30, you've definitely got something woke on your hands. Yep. Xbox's recent reveal of the E-Day trailer, which was super masculine, indicated to me that perhaps these companies are starting to wake up and realize you can't feminize and make beloved characters gay anymore. We won't buy it. Another casualty of the woke stuff was this character Yasuke from the new Assassin's Creed game. Oh, yeah. The way there is oh. oh, and it's a aging worse and worse Ooh. there's fire and the general populace realized exactly what was going on the woke mob had rammed a black guy into this game in a completely laughable so, so red, woke cage. wooden tokenistic <laughs> way which had nothing to do with the actual history of the matter now you might say well andrew what about tom cruise what you know you had audience. a white samurai well first off tom cruise's character was actually historical but secondly Dude, I hated that movie. I had no interest in that movie. And yes, I think it's pretty stupid to have a white guy who just becomes a samurai in uh, Japan. Very stupid movie, very stupid idea, and guilty of all of the same things that Assassin's Creed Shadows is guilty of right now. But well, again, then. it's not really about having black people or gay people in games. We've had black and gay... Yeah, literally, this was what it was about. It was about changing the fucking history! Gay people in games forever. Dorian was a hilarious gay character in the Dragon Age games. Lee Everett was the main character of the Walking Dead games and everybody loved him and those games won awards. What it's really about is forcing characters into games. Everybody yep. hates this shit. Watch this guy yep. Jay the Concept react to the Assassin's Creed trailer and explain exactly what was wrong with it. Just for context, oh he is watching the opening footage of the game in which they have Yusuke, our black samurai in the 1600s, killing people to American hip-hop music. Greed cannot rule this village. Not while I have breath in my lungs and a blade in my head. <laughs> He's so disappointed. <gasps> Bro! His luck! His look speaks a thousand words! Not while I have breath in my lungs and a blade in my head. I'm just gonna come out and say it, period. Cause I know people are scared to say this shit, I'm not. Liberal white women are the, are the most racist people on True. the fucking planet. I'm just gonna be real with you. Look at this True. entire room. What do you see? And when I just What do you see? White women. White women is what we see. Showed you in the beginning how they decided to throw hip hop music for African in a Ubisoft game where he's the only black person in Japan, you're gonna put hip hop music for African as his fight music. This is the type of tone deaf shit when you got a whole bunch of liberal white women in this room who's trying to- The blue hat ones are dangerous. <laughs> how many blue hat ones do we have for you? There's two, I see two. <laughs> I don't know, use us as ESG scores or trying to use us as kind of like a, a point system. See, we, we're representing y'all. We put hip hop in there, but you're so fucking stupid. You don't realize that you put an African in the game to where hip hop culture is not even their culture. Hip hop is American culture, but you decided to put, oh, since all black people are alike to you, I guarantee you that's the reason what they was thinking. They're like, how can we represent black people when it's a fucking African? Hmm, I know, hip hop. So this dude in his critique absolutely nailed Oh, he said that so beautifully. Oh, he 100% right. He's 100% right, by the way. Liberal white women are the main uh, proponents of ID, requ ID requirements for the vote is racist. The bigotry of low expectations is bewildering. True, 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 true. We've seen the clip. We've seen the clip, right? 
like we seen it the other day where the white women were like literally stereotyping who was it was it was it literally black people that they were stereotyping if i remember correctly like oh my god it, it's hurtful it's so hurtful oh my god that was so painful but and i want to focus on one word he said he said they are using us and it is sad how many people do not see this but this is what white liberal women always do they pander and they virtue signal and they use black people as tokens and points to try to shield themselves against criticism oh how could we be racist we just put a black samurai in a game oh my God. <laughs> Bro, is this an AI-generated image? <laughs> this looks like it's AI-generated, but it's so on point. It's so fucking on point, man. The blue hair, the nerdy... The nerdy glasses, the... Thicker appearance. The, po the nerdy pushing. The tattoos on the arm. The flower tattoo specifically. Oh, nailed it. Meanwhile, they are doing the most racist ass depiction of a black person you've ever seen. A black dude in the 1600s and you're playing hip hop music from the 2000s? Really? You French bastards are that racist, huh? But just to zoom out a bit, this gets to the heart of wokeness and why wokeness is not just infecting video games, but has destroyed <laughs> Star Wars and superhero movies as well. Fat, ugly, blue-haired women who have never seen a gym in their life seem to be dead set on ruining all of the things us heterosexual men love. But here's the great part. None of us are buying this stuff. This? Oh, this ain't Ubisoft stock. you get what you deserve they got what they deserve chat this is beautiful beautiful you get what you deserve their movies are failing and they're going out of business just look at Alyssa Marcante, who will likely have oh my god her face I hate her face so much this woman is so punchable oh my god I hate her bro <clears throat> I I hate this bitch I 100% hate this bitch man Oh my god. I see her face and I have anger rising up in me, man. This woman, yeah. Like, she's the one that said she's daring anyone to come and fight her for it. Uh, like, sh uh, the shit she said. Like, oh. Oh, <laughs> oh her face. Let the hate uh, flow through you. <laughs> she was annoying 12 or more years ago. She still is. What is wet? She was around 12 years ago. I don't even know what she did 12 years ago. I've only started to hearing about her recently. Uh, she's absolutely unlikable. Very unlikable. Yeah. I don't know if you've seen Bill Burr's bit on white women calling white men the root of all evil. But goddamn, I did a lot at that one. It's in the Paper Tiger special. I don't think I've seen it. No. She was a girl for money once. What does that mean? She was active at first game again. Of course she was. Of course she was. <laughs> the movie thing is rock solid. Female characters are basically perfect or the white girls who the key to everything and they have zero struggle on a fight or character wise. Uh huh? Uh, sorry, I don't know what exactly you're referring to. A Mary Sue? But yeah, that's the definition of Mary Sue, that is true, like, just the perfect character that's strong and all that shit and has no flaws. It means a girl protects and new movies are Mary Sue's. Ah! Okay, yeah, I guess so. I haven't really seen a lot of recent movies. I guess it's good for that. Also harassed her haters. Yep. Strong female boss. <laughs> AKA boring. Yeah! We love seeing people struggle. Let people struggle. Let people overcome their struggles. God damn, how hard is it, man? Her talents taken to truck stop bathrooms when she is inevitably fired from Kotaku. But back to the Yasuke thing. Do some more browsing and you will see this sentiment expressed by quite a few black YouTubers. 
quote, if you don't like a black samurai, you're just racist. Yeah, what I true, want to tell these people true, is... True, true, true. This. Don't you see you're playing exactly into what the white liberal women at Ubisoft want you to say? Ubisoft true. thinks you can be bought, and you've proven them right. You can be bought. All they had to do was put a black man in a game. No matter how insane or poorly done or historically inaccurate, you showed that you can be easily bought. Meanwhile, Jay the Concept is trying to tell y'all, don't be a checkbox on an ESG score. Do not yep. be bought don't off be by this box. pandering ass tokenism. So this is my we first jumping pandering. off point for what it means for something to be woke. We hate and woke commandment number one is this, quote, your skin color and sexual orientation is the only thing about you that matters. Not Even though it doesn't matter in the story at all. Yay. Your beliefs, not your struggles, not your character development. No, your skin color is the only thing about you that matters. So as Ubisoft sales slide into the trash can and people complain about Assassin's Creed games being formulaic, how are they going to try to generate also, that statement, this fucking statement, even though they try to not be racist, this statement is so inherently racist, man. This statement, like, it's crazy how actually racist they actually just are. I don't see color, I see faces, literally. Like, look at a person for the person. Don't look at them for their race, color, um sexuality height appearance age like can we just judge people for being a person now they see representation only skin deep kids so yep and that's make and that's making them racist and they don't even see that they are being racist it matters not your beliefs not your struggles not your character it's a fetishization? development. No, oh, your skin Jesus. color is the only thing about you that matters. So as Ubisoft sales slide into the trash can and people complain about Assassin's Creed games being formulaic, how are they going to try to generate buzz about their new game? Oh, I know. Let's throw a black samurai in there with some cool hip hop music. That'll get the kids talking and show everybody that Ubisoft is representation. <laughs> the representation. I've said those before, for example, me as a woman, like, things used to be about women need to be more represented, right? That's what it was, like, I don't fucking know, like, 10 years ago. We need more women in video games. And now it's moved away from um, women more into other things like races and sexuality and all that stuff. But back then and even now, I don't care about representation. It's a goddamn video game. It doesn't need to represent anything. Video games don't need to represent anything. As a woman, I, know, I never needed to be represented in a video game. If it has a female character, cool. That's cool. If it doesn't, that's also cool. <sighs> that's why I love Warhammer. Again, I, I barely know anything about Warhammer. You're a victim, you just don't know it yet, man. <laughs> T? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Why don't you feel bad? You're misrepresented! You are a minority, you should feel bad! Representation is important to people that can't perceive breakfast. <laughs> what? No one is represented, nothing can be linked to the real world. Yes! Professional victims? Yeah, and they are absolutely being fucking professional victims. It's ridiculous. I don't want representation in video games. I want a video game. I want to kill things and murder things. Or maybe just go farming. I don't need representation. Hip and relevant again. It's honestly cringe. Now you might say, but Assassin's Creed has never been realistic. And I would say, bro, you made it so easy for them to buy you off. But this brings me perfectly to woke commandment number two. Take a beloved series or character and shoehorn in completely unwanted new characters and political messages Whoa. that are completely at odds with the Star original Wars, source am material. I right? Watch the creative director of the new G.I. Joe toy line do this perfectly. We are so excited to be kicking off your Saturday of...
You can't make this well, up. on day two with our G.I. Joe panel. So my name is Emily. I am the brand manager for G.I. Joe. Uh, I use she and her pronouns, and I am so excited. Did, did we really need to know that she uses she and her? Who the fuck cares? Who the fuck cares? Excited to be joined by three of my amazing team members. Let's start with Corey. Please introduce yourself. Sure. Hi, guys. Uh, I am Corey. I am the uh, three. Why? Why? Who cares? It's not important. 3D sculpting manager. I go by he, him, uh, and I work on G.I. Joe classified series. Hi, guys. I'm Lenny Panzika. I'm principal designer of the G.I. Joe classified series. And I want to tell these guys blink twice if you're being held against your will. I go by he, him pronouns. Hi, everybody. I'm Tony, the master model artist on G.I. Joe Classified. Uh, he, him. Like, can all these fat, blue-haired white women just go get jobs doing something else? Does anybody understand why they're so obsessed with the domain in the interest of heterosexual <sighs> mid? Why does this chick want to work on G.I. Joe? It was a product for males. I'm gonna be honest, I don't even know what G.I. Joe is. G.I. Joe. It's a science fiction action movie series based on toys. Oh, that's a toy soldier. She feels so out of place. G.I. Uh, Joe was a toy line. Used to be an old cartoon. Barbie for boys? I see. Very popular in the US. I see, I see. My pronouns are he, them, because I'll never be him. <laughs> that one cracks me up every time. Like, it's weird that this liberal white woman wants to be involved in G.I. Joe shit. Like, that's just weird. Original source I, I material. Wanna, Watch the I creative go again. director of the new G.I. Joe toy line do this perfectly. I want to go again we, with an open mind. I want to listen to this again with an open mind. We are so excited to be kicking off your Saturday of PulseCon day two with our G.I. Joe panel. So my name is Emily. I am the brand manager for G.I. Joe. Uh, I use she and her pronouns, and I am so excited to be joined by three of my amazing team members. Let's start with Corey. Please introduce yourself. Okay, I like her energy. Just to be fair, I like her energy, right? And to be fair, just to be fair, maybe she really did just like G.I. Joe. Like, let's try to keep an open mind, right? The way she looks is not helping the stereotype. The way she looks is not helping the stereotype. It ain't. And we'll just say that it does not help the stereotype. But if we look away from the stereotype, there are guys who did like Barbie. There are guys who did grow up with Barbie and like Barbie dolls. Okay? So the stereotype of its effect. <laughs> uh, her saying that her pronouns are she, her, for the G.I. Joe line? Questionable. Questionable. I'm just Ken was a banger fight me. I'm just Ken is an amazing song. I used to have a lot of dots. There you go. So I'm gonna try to keep an open mind. Maybe she really did enjoy G.I. Joe. Okay? Maybe she did actually really enjoy G.I. Joe. Maybe. Or maybe it's some D.I. D.E.I. bullshit. Maybe it's some DEI bullshit. Who knows? I don't. Sure. Hi, guys. Uh, and son, G.I. Joe Cla Jobs doing something. Uh, okay. He, him. Like, can all these fat, blue haired white women just go get jobs doing something else? Does anybody understand why they're so obsessed with the domain in the interest of heterosexual mid? Like, it's weird that this liberal white woman wants to be involved in G.I. Joe shit. Like, that's just weird. What I hear constantly in YouTube comment sections is this. If you want to change a character, go make a new show. That is true. Nintari just cheered 100 that is true. bits. To be honest, all the pronouns stuff is like a big rotating orange warning light someone puts up, so you can skip any deeper discussion or listen to them. Glass is half full sometimes. Fair. Fair point. Fair point. Fair point. But who says he, she's the one who pushed the decision that they needed to um, 
Why is my model lagging? Model? Can model? Can you stop lagging? Model? 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 Okay, here we go. <laughs> Gusu say that she's the one that pushed it. Yet again, she is the marketing representative, right? She is the marketing representative. She is the marketing representative. But who's to say that uh, someone who is a buffer didn't say she needs to say it? She has the final say in the brand. The CEO. And then there's the CEO a buffer, there's the board members a buffer, and they do shit. They have a final, final say. Like, yes, it looks very bad for her. It does look very bad for her, is what I'm, is what I'm trying to say. Their lack of passion is one of the things that hurts most. I'd give my firstborn child to be near the production of my favorite anime or show. Aww. Then again, my trans friend said they wished they was born in Estonia since Estonian language has no sexes. Aww. They don't fight the decisions either because they benefit the way. That's also true. Uh. All I'm trying to say is... We shouldn't look at things black and white. We shouldn't look at things black and white. Kicking off your Saturday of PulseCon day two with- Because it might have been her choice. It most likely it might have been her choice. But the thing he's saying afterwards is a little bit unfair in my opinion. Sexual mid? Understand why they're so obsessed with the domain in the interest of heterosexual mid? Like, all I'm saying is that I just disagree with, like, what he's saying here, because 100% there are some women that actually really do like the G.I. Joe series. 100%. That's what I'm saying. Like, there might actually be good faith actors. That's, that's the point I'm trying to make, right? That there might be good fo faith actors among... All the bad people. Like, it's weird that this liberal white woman wants to be involved in G.I. Joe shit. Like, that's just weird. What I hear constantly in YouTube comment sections is this. If you want to change a character, she have blue go hair, make a new so, show. Yeah. But they never do that. They're coming for your show. They want to ruin your show. They want to ruin the characters that you're into. It keeps happening. Yeah, because it's easier to ruin something new because it already has an established brand. Because then they don't need to put any extra work in it. They need to make it for a mo uh, modern audience. Because that's what the modern audience wants to. Happening again and again and again. And I wonder how many billions of dollars they're going to lose before they learn to stop hiring these liberal white women. Another great example, the new Star Wars movie Acolyte apparently completely ruins the lore of Star Wars. Gears of War? Yeah, went woke in Gears 4 and 5 because they took a game of manliness and a game... Guess on five were totally woke, took a game about men and turned it into a game about women. What the fuck? About men and made it about motherhood and women. Saints Row, the most offensive, edgy, and wonderful video game series ever made. What should the 2022 reboot be about? Maybe bring back the original characters? Nah, let's kill off. They killed off every single character and replaced them with a sim. Minor on diversity and inclusion. Love that. I love that. <laughs> I love that so much. Talk every single beloved character Yay. from the original game and replace them with a seminar on diversity. Gay black dude, check. Lesbian chick, check. Fat chick, gay Asian man. ESG scores, check, check, check. Now, as check, I said check, earlier, check. what is it that men actually love? What is it that men throughout time have always loved for Naked thousands women. of years? Guns. It's quite simple. Hot <laughs> Explosions. <laughs> Hot women, explosions, war, shooting, cars, flames, edgy humor, jokes, and the list goes on. Have you noticed a serious lack of these things in recent video games? Hot women have been replaced with square-jawed linebackers like this chick. Oh, I hate that so much, man. I hate that one so much. Like, why are all the women, like, fucking square-faced now? Like, bro, that, that just, why? <laughs> oh, diversity, though! Representation! People can be ugly! Okay, but it's a video game! It's a video game! I come back to it doesn't need representation! In the new Ubisoft Star Wars game. 
Shooting might still be around, but in the new woke COD game, you're shooting people with bullets wrapped in the trans flag. Huh? 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 Shooting might still be around, but in the new woke COD game, you're shooting people with bullets wrapped in the trans flag. Huh? Edgy humor? Oh, hell no, that's gotta go. That is kind of funny. <laughs> I'm, I'm just... Why? Nothing like this could be made today. People would get their feelings hurt. Saints Row? I, uh, Saints Row 2? I have no idea about Saints Row. Please, I want Saints Row 2 again. I, I got nothing on Saints Row 2. Like, I don't know it. Literally, I have no idea. We can't have any funny locker room talk anymore, and now every NPC just has to be an annoying robot. And we can't make any funny jokes anymore because somewhere, somebody's feelings might it, It's going to be offended. No. Basically, guys, it's not that big a deal. They just want to destroy everything that you love in games. But you know what the great thing is? We don't have to play ball. We don't have to buy their games. Yeah. Don't support don't them. Don't buy it. Anytime you see a game, quote unquote, being inclusive, a red sh flag it. should go off in your head. Anytime somebody is called, quote, racist for not wanting to play a game, you should look squarely at the person throwing the accusation because they're probably virtue signaling and lying. True. I've heard this sentiment expressed a lot recently. Anything normal is alt right now. If you like women, if you like explosions, if you. If you're a normal dude, you're alt right. <laughs> like normal dude stuff congratulations you're alt right chat i guess we're all alt right now i don't care about politics but i guess we're all alt right now now moving on let's get to woke commandment number three history and heritage must be destroyed in the name of woke inclusion i was thinking the Yay! other day about how some of the most celebrated games Thanks of the past the 10 years audience. are incredibly grounded in their different cultures Red Dead 2 celebrates the American West in a realistic and historical way. Witcher 3 explores Polish folklore and does justice to those people. Black Myth Wukong is about to come out and explores this famous monkey man myth that is a huge character in Chinese folklore. Mm. All of the games people love and celebrate often lean into historicity and authenticity because, honestly, guys love that stuff. But, 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 but I can there hear the white again. liberal women complain, history isn't inclusive. White liberal women are dead yeah, set because on it's remaking history. history in their own image. Yeah, it's it's really narcissism when you think Simple. about it. We should have known things were going to go this way back in 2018 when Battlefield Five came out and its historical quote-unquote World War II game, which included having black trans women as main characters. Oh my God. Ridiculous. During the Battle of the Bulge. When fans pushed back and said this Oh my God. Oh my god, chat. I don't I don't know what game this is. Was this a COD game or something? Where one of the characters has a wheelchair? And is in the army? Was that COD? Rainbow Six? It's Rainbow Six? Oh my. Bro. I I just I'm so sick and tired of the shit. Did you know that a guy on YouTube got banned and cancelled because he had a gameplay of Red Dead Redemption 2 where he once hit a woman and <laughs> What?! <laughs> That's ridiculous! What the fuck?! You can make it in history, but then it should be something that was a forbidden love kind of thing, if anything. That is true! That is true, because it's not like people just suddenly started appearing out of nowhere. People? There's always been gay people! It just wasn't as openly spread. People just weren't as open as it, man. It's not like there weren't gay dudes when back in history, right? And like lesbian women and all that kind of stuff, you know? But back then, it was literally a crime. Going to sleep, have a great evening. Good night. So yeah, instead, it should be like, made like this forbidden kind of thing.
where they try to like, you know, try to live their love life and whatever the fuck. I don't, I don't know, man. Like, like Xavier and history, it did exist. We just don't want it now. Exactly. And like, it's it's important to know that the history did exist as it existed, so history doesn't repeat itself. Gays were invented by the CIA in the 1940s to fight the Nazis. <laughs> oh, I forgot. My bad. I Ridiculous. forgot. Ridiculous. Dice said, fine then, racist. Don't buy our game. Yeah, and we did I won't. And oops, just like that, a game failed. Another thing you might have noticed is the incredible double standard the woke crowd always applies to when it comes to race swapping. Ugly women in the place of a hot woman? Check. Black ahistorical guys in place of samurai? Check. Mm. White women in World I War II battles? Standard. Check. I love White this. guys leading armies in Wakanda? Urk. Record scratch. Yeah. Like, how is it that... When a black person plays a role that is historically been played or represented, where the character is represented as a white person, that people are cheering it. But when it's the other way around, that is not good. When a white person so uh, now suddenly replaces the black uh, character, then it's whitewashing. Then it's whitewashing. <sighs> also, is black the only minority they know? Right? That literally seems to be the case. Literally seems to be the case. History is... Brutal and these people are weak sponges, true. Catch. Wait a second, you can't do that. That's racist. We see the double standard on full display. And yet again, we get back to the core of it. They truly just hate men. And they don't even like black guys. They just view black men as ESG points on their bingo card. They want to use you as a shield against criticism to feel like they are morally superior to those they would deem, quote, normal people. So just to draw this to a close here, this is the best way I can define woke. By these three commandments they follow. Number one, your skin color and sexual orientation is the most important thing about you. Number two, yep. take a beloved series or character and shoehorn in completely unwanted new characters uh, and political yep. messages. And number three, history and heritage must be destroyed in the name of woke inclusion. Yep. Literally rewriting history so these narcissists can Back include themselves in it. Do you want to know immediately if a game or movie is woke or not? Just look at the critic score compared to the audience score. If the critic true. score, like I said, is like 90 and the audience score is 30, That's very true. you know it's definitely woke because everybody hates it because at the end of the day, nobody wants this trash. All right, very guys, true. I'm very out. True. Good video. Good video. Good video. I liked most of his points. Again, another thing was that not... It's not always the case that it's being woke when a woman is in the fucking advertising line or, like, working on a male line. That's not always the case. But most of the time, yeah. Most of the time it is. Buy YouTube and don't cancel kids, so please. <laughs> Bro, being cancelled doesn't fucking mean anything anymore. Being cancelled doesn't mean jack shit nowadays anymore. Have you seen... Have you not seen Dr. Disrespect? <laughs> and with that, we're taking our leave. Goodbye, YouTube. Bye, YouTubes. Bye, YouTube frogs.